What you guys got another video here for you on how to block the Windows 11 update or upgrade from Windows 10. Now, quite a few people will be seeing these messages here where they're trying to force you into upgrading to Windows 11 if you're running a Windows 10 system. I made a video about this yesterday. Check the link in the video description or check my video history and you'll see that they are forcing people by using these pop up ads. Now, if you want to block these, like a lot of people said they want to, and they want to stay with Windows 10, I'll show you exactly how to do it in this video. Go down to the search and type reg edit and open up the registry editor. Say yes to the user account control, and then you will see the registry editor. So we'll start off from computer here, and we're going to go H key local machine, open this up here. And then what we're going to do is go down to software, open the little drop arrow down, and then go to policies. Click on it again, then go down to Microsoft, open this one up. And what we're going to do is go all the way down to Windows. Then use the arrow to open this up. And then we're going to go down to where it says Windows Update. Now, if you don't see Windows Update, don't panic. Just go back to the Windows and right click and go New and then put Key. And this will add a new folder inside this section. You can now put Windows Update for the name of this folder. Now this is for all versions of Windows. If you're on Windows uh, 10 Home, you will need to use the registry method. I will show you the group policy method and that will be for Windows 10 Pro and above. But you can use this method on Windows 10 Pro as well. So we now have our Windows Update folder. On the right hand pane, right click, go New and go to DWORD 32-bit value. Now we need to give this value a name. So this one is going to be called target release version. And this is what we're going to be typing inside this box here. Now this is important. It needs to be spelled exactly the right way for it to work properly. And what we're going to be doing is telling it what version we want to stay on. So we're leaving this as is target release version. Once that's done, we can then push enter and then double click on this value and we can give this a value of one. So let's go ahead and open this up and give it a value of one. So once we've done this, we can click OK. And that's now done. And what we want to do here is I'll open this up so you can see it a bit more clearly. We're going to right click on the panel again and add another value inside here. We're going to go new string value. So let's go ahead and add a string value in. Now for the string value, we're going to call this one target release version info. So put that in there like so. Now, once we've got this, we can then double click on this one as well. And this will have our version of what windows we want to stay on. So let's go ahead and double click on this. This will open up the box. Now, if you don't know what version you're running on windows 10, go down to the search box and type Winver. Inside here, click on the Winver, and it will open this up. So in here, you can see I'm running version 21H2. If you want to stay on that version, then you put that version number in that box. If you've got another version that you want to stay on, you put that number in the box. But 21H2 is the number I'm going to put in there and click OK. That means we're telling at Windows that we want to stay on 21H2 and we don't want to go any further with feature updates, which is going to be either newer versions of Windows 10 or even versions like Windows 11. So now we've got that set, what you can do if you're on Windows 10 Pro is use the group policy, which is a lot more easier. So let's go ahead and uh, go to group policy editor if you're running Windows 10 Pro and above type GP edit and then click on the edit group policy. This will open up the group policy editor. Inside here, we're going to go to uh, local computer, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and then come all the way down to Windows Update. Open the Windows Update up and then go to Windows Update for Business. Click on this one. And then on the right hand pane here, you will see 
a select the target feature updates version. Very simple. So all we need to do here, you can see it's not configured and we need to configure it. It's a very simple process by just double clicking on this and this will open up a panel which we can then enable. So let's go ahead and double click. Now we can click on the enable because it's not configured. So we're going to configure this one by enabling it. And now we can see here, it says, which Windows product version would you like to receive feature updates for? Windows 10. Then go down to the targeted version for feature updates. And we're going to put in that target version, which is 21H2 for me. But whatever version you're on or you want to stay on, you put that number in there and it will only go to that version. It won't go any higher. And that's it. And you are now enabled. And then we now need to restart the PC or you can open up command prompt and force update the policies. I'll show you how to do that, but you can just restart the PC. But we're going to go here and type CMD and open up the command prompt by clicking on run as administrator. Inside the box here, we're going to be typing GP update and then space forward slash force. And then you can push enter. And this will update all of the policies. So let's go ahead and update the policies. And that's now should say successful. That's done. And what we can do now is if we go down to the start button and go to settings and then go to Windows updates. Now I did pause these yesterday, but I'll re-enable them in a second. But you can see here, if you look up the top here, it says some settings are managed by your organization. And that's because uh, we've put those policies in place. We're telling Microsoft that we don't want to go any higher and we don't want any feature updates. And that includes Windows 11 upgrade from Windows 10. And you can see the policies here are set and they're all set in place. Now you will still receive your security updates. Once I resume these updates, uh, because I paused them in yesterday's video, you will still receive security updates, but you just won't receive any more feature updates. So any more versions of Windows 10 or any feature updates like Windows 11. So you're not going to get those anymore. So 21H2 uh, is going to be your version that you're going to stay on. Now, if you want to go to the next version, then you can go in there and amend it and change it to the next version and it will automatically allow you to go to that version. So you will need to physically go in and amend this manually yourself when that version becomes IE end of life. Anyway, that's going to be about it. That's how you can block any feature upgrades uh, for Windows 10 and Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out to Albert Hewson, Miles Sierra, Jedi Buddhist, Phil's Computer Repair, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again for your support, and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.